Good morning. This morning I'm going to show you how to turn the SketchUp drawing application into essentially a 2D drawing application. The way I'm going to do that is to show you how to make one or more custom toolbars that are focused entirely on 2D drawing. This will allow me to use the 2D toolbars and to remove all other 3D toolbars that might confuse me if I'm only drawing in 2D. SketchUp Make and SketchUp 2013 have makes this quite easy because one of the things that Trimble changed in that this most recent version is the ability to create these toolbars quite easily. So if we go to the view menu and then toolbars, first you'll notice that I have already created for myself three custom toolbars for drawing in 3D. I've also used some of the traditional toolbars and some of the plugins like BZ Toolbar is a SketchUp plugin, as is Construction Plus and Curve Aloft. The only non plugin or non custom toolbar is the Solids Toolbar. You won't see this in the Make version of SketchUp. Actually, you may see it in the Make version of SketchUp, but it'll be limited to only one or two tools. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is say I want to create a new toolbar. And when I do that, I need to give it a name. I'll give it the name 2D Toolbar. And I'm going to call it 2D Toolbar 1 because I might make more than one. I say OK. And I've got a blank toolbar right here. Let's set that over here. And now I can put anything on this toolbar I'd like. All I have to do is drag and drop icons. However, when I drag and drop icons, I want to use the control key. Because if I drag and drop icons without using the control key, it deletes that icon from the toolbar I'm dragging it from. I don't want to do that. I just want to copy the icons onto here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the view icons. Those icons that tell me what I want to view. Actually, let me let me rethink that and there are some other icons that um, I'll want on here as well. What I'm going to do, using the control key and holding it down, I'm going to select this icon, which is the create a new model icon. I'll drag that, put that over here. I'll then drag the open icon over. And just, I'm going to reproportion this if I can. I guess it's not going to let me do that. I'll just drag this like this. There we go. Okay, I'm going to drag, hitting control key again, I'm going to drag the save menu on here, the cut menu, the copy, Paste. Back or undo. Redo. Model info. And now, since I'm going to make this a 2D package, I don't want all of these views. I don't want the front view. I don't want the side view, I don't want the back view, I don't want the other side view, and I don't want the ISO view. The only view I want is the top view because that will be the red and green plane. And it's the only one I ever want to select. So I'll drag that on here. I doubt that I'll ever want the X-ray view, but it wouldn't hurt to have it there. 
if I'm drawing in 2D and the, everything is on the same plane, X-ray is not going to do me a lot of good. So I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to leave the back edges off. And I'm going to leave wireframe. Well, wireframe may be useful. I'll put that on here. Hidden line. Again, uh, if this is a 2D plane, hidden line uh, shouldn't be... Uh, Terribly useful, but I'll put it on here. Shade it. Again, if it's 2D, shading isn't going to help me. Um, but I'll put that on there. Textured, probably. And monochrome, probably. Certainly, we want layer on here. But we're not going to get it that way. Um, we're actually going to have to use the layer icon. Alright, so this is my 2D1 toolbar, which is going to be my horizontal toolbar. And now that I've got it, I'll just close this. I can get rid of this one now, because that's a 3D toolbar. So I'll close it, and I'll drag my 2D toolbar up there. There we go. Now I have a 2D toolbar. The layer toolbar is called layers. You'll want that. And um, you'll notice to get it, you simply click the layers tool, or the layers toolbar here. This toolbar Layers tool is a plugin which will still work for 2D drawing applications. It's a plugin that I've written and you can get it from my website. And in order to get that, once you've installed the Ruby script, in order to get it, again you go to View Toolbars. And this time it's the Layers tool that you want to click. This one right here. So now I've got what I want in the horizontal view of my tools. Now I want to create my vertical view and I may probably will end up with two vertical bars. I might want to start with the left vertical bar being all of the uh, view and camera tools. The ones that, you know, the pan, zoom, so on and so forth. So let me start another toolbar. Go to view, toolbars, new, and I'll call this one 2D tool VAR 2 2D toolbar 2 So the first thing I'm going to want on here is all of the tools that allow me to move around the view. Now I'll start with pan put that on there I'll probably want the zoom tool. I'm going to get rid of some of these tools. Let me just move some of them over there like that so I can see them. I'll probably want the previous view toolbar. Maybe the extension warehouse, but I'll leave that off for the moment. Uh, let me put that on there. And I can reorganize it later. And let's see, axis, I want that. Even though I'm only going to be dealing with two axes, I may want to be able to switch them on and off. Probably want the paint bucket. I'll put that on here. Make component, I'm going to want that. Even in 2D, we're going to want to make components. These are all drawing tools. I don't think the follow me tool is going to be use, useful at all here. The offset tool will be. I'm going to move this over here. Um, 
Zoom Extents is definitely going to be. And let's see, what else? We'll want the uh, label tool. I'm going to shift things around. Whoops. I'm going to shift things around here a little bit. Uh, the dimension tool. I'm going to add another new one. This one I'm going to call Toolbar 3. 2D Toolbar 3. I'm going to start with the Select tool. Put that on here. Erase tool. Line tool. Circle tool, polygon tool, rotate, scale, tape measure, protractor, got the axis, we've got the pan, I've got the zoom, previous, extensions warehouse, Let's see if there's something down here that I'm missing. Can't see what that tool is right there. Layout. Um, well, that's that's for the pro version where you get the layout application. So I'm not going to add that tool. These are all custom tools from a uh, plugin application. We won't be able to use those. Our shell won't do us much good. I've got the paint tool, I've got the uh, make component, rectangle tool, I don't have yet. I'll put the rectangle tool right there. Whoops, I also want to copy that back to where I had it. I didn't I didn't use the uh, control key to copy it I want the arc tool may want the freehand tool I do not want push-pull that would make 3d objects I don't want follow me that would make 3d objects I do want the offset very useful. I already have the dimension tool, the label tool. I don't want orbit, that's three-dimensional. So I think I've got it. I think I've got three toolbars here that are going to do what I want. So let me close this. And what I'm going to do is get rid of this toolbar now. I'm going to get rid of this toolbar. I've got everything I want on this toolbar, so I'm going to get rid of it. 
This is a Curvaloft toolbar, and and this is also a custom toolbar. I'm, I'll just for the moment. Let me leave them there for the moment. Uh, no, I'm going to bring it out here. I want this one to go right. there. Now I can bring this one out. I want this one to go next to it. Um, I guess I have to uh, Hmm. I'm going to try and make this. There we go. Now we got it a vertical toolbar. I'll move it over to this side. I'm having difficulty with this new application getting my toolbars where I want them. Well, one thing I might do is bring that one in here. That will open up the space for me here. And I'll fool it by bringing this in. There we go. Curvaloft I'm not going to want. That makes 3D images. I'll bring that out and close it. Bring this up. And this application has a few tools on here that could be interesting for 2D, particularly um, that tool, the construction line tool, this tool, this tool. and even the grid tool, but the rest of them are for 3D applications. Unfortunately, this is a this is a uh, plugin that I wrote and SketchUp doesn't allow you to make toolbars from plugin toolbars. In other words, you can't copy icons from plugin toolbars onto a new toolbar. Why they didn't provide that feature, I don't know. So you can either choose to have this and make sure you don't use any of the 3D tools or close it, your choice. This is the Bezier tool. You will, um, it is usable for 2D. So we'll leave that one there. Bezier allows you to make very interesting um, curves. Really nice shaped curves. Okay, now that I've got this, I can now go to the top view and notice now I've got a 2D plane. Now that you've got this 2D tool set set up, all you need to do is open SketchUp. You may find that SketchUp opens up in an isometric view, but very quickly click the top view and there you are. You're in the red-green plane and you have your 2D tools. You can use three of these quadrants to do your elevation, top view, and side view uh, drawings, and then use the other quadrant for the projection quadrant that you normally do in 2D. You can modify these tool sets at any time by simply going back to View Toolbars and choosing one of them and either deleting it or just choose it and drag more things onto it or off of it. You can even bring up other toolbars uh, temporarily, like the construction toolbar. There it is. So if there's a tool that I'd, I've missed that I want, I can bring it on. Just drag it to, to the one of these toolbars. Then close the construction toolbar. And I'm back to where I was. I'll just close this out. 
might have to fix up my uh, placement here. But now once I close this application and open back up again, I'll have these toolbars all back again, just like this. Okay, I hope that's um, given you some idea as to how to set SketchUp up for a 2D application. And once you've done that, it's a very, very fine 2D application, as good as any on the market. And um, if you need help, give me a call in the usual places. And we'll see you next week.